In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove background noise with Audacity's noise removal. If you record something and the microphone isn't so good, you're probably going to get background noise, a subtle hum or hiss. For instance, this clip. Testing Audacity noise removal. You can hear there's a bit of a hiss behind everything. Audacity has a great way to remove this. First of all, you need to select your noise. That's everything that is just noise and no talking. Go to Effect, click Noise Removal, and this is a two-step process. First off, you need to select the noise, like I just did, and then Get Noise Profile. Nothing has changed, but what it has done, it has told the Noise Removal effect what it will consider as the noise to remove. Now click the entire clip, go back to the Effect and Noise Removal, and the step two, make sure this at the bottom is on Remove. All these defaults are fine most of the time. Click OK. Testing Audacity Noise Removal. And as you can see, the waveform has almost been completely removed over here, and there's basically no background noise. And I'll just undo that. You can go back to the noise removal, and there are some settings here. Noise reduction in decibels, this is how loud it will try to remove. If you put the slider to the right, it will try and remove more, but this will cause distortion. Sensitivity is more about what it will consider as the sound. Again, if you put it higher, you end up with more distorted sound. Frequency smoothing is to deal with the fact that not all your background noise may be a constant hum or hiss. 150 is usually pretty fine, but if your background noise varies a ton, you need to put this up more. A lot of these settings are trial and error. Attack and delay is how long it takes for the noise removal to take effect. If you have background noise that's pretty constant, you can put this value up a bit more, but if your stuff varies a ton, you may need to put this even lower. Finally, there's the remove or isolate. The remove removes the noise, but the isolate does the inverse and basically keeps the noise and removes the actual audio. Testing Audacity Noise Removal. This is what will be removed. And of course, you don't want to leave it like this. You'd need to go change it back to the remove setting. But this is basically how to use Audacity's noise removal.